welcome back to Solo Quests. I'm Ed, and uh, we're back to some more scythe uh, goodies. So, today we're unboxing the second expansion, um, or the first, I'm not sure which one came uh, first to be honest, but it's our second unboxing for scythe expansions. It is the Wind Gambit. Uh, this will add um, some flying ships, very steampunky ships to, to the game. Um, they, uh, the artwork again, as you can see, amazing on this box. I'll remove the uh, the wrap, the plastic wrap, right away, just to show, so I can show you the artwork uh, better. Okay, so you have can appreciate it a little bit better. But uh, again, amazing art from Jacob. Get this out of the way. Or Jacob, I'm not sure how to say his name correctly but the the man is a genius look at this artwork beautiful beautiful artwork this is one of my favorites okay some more in here some more great artwork here and if you want to start it vertically there you go okay so this is scythe the wind gambit as i said it adds uh, flying uh, ships vessels to the game Let's take a look at those miniatures, which are very, very big compared to the rest of the stuff in the game. Let me try and get this out, okay. Here you have it, let's, I'll show you, they seem, are they exactly the same? Uh, not sure, but here's one of them. Okay, the yellow ship. There you go very very detailed much more detailed than i will actually expect it here a lot of details here even on the bottom they went to the trouble of detailing the ship here's a little rotor here amazing detail uh, if they're not all the same they are very very similar although i do believe yeah they are they are the same i think let me compare it to the green one. Yeah, they are exactly the same. I mean, yeah, sure. Uh, you, you, you couldn't ask for such, uh, such a huge investment in different molds for all the, the, the factions in, in, uh, in a box. But uh, you have, you have um, ships to the uh, invaders from afar factions as well. So that's great, okay? You have ships here for all of the factions in the game. Let me, these are the bases for uh, the ships. I'll just pop one in this base just to show you guys how it will look when on the table. Okay, so you put, you just insert this here and then you insert it right here on this uh, hole in the ship and there you go. So this is the end product what you will have on your table when playing the game. It will stand up just like this. Let me pan out here. So yeah, it just stands like this and you can move it around the board with its little base. So great piece, amazing piece. It really, I mean, the game is beautiful already, uh, to be honest. This is just overkill in component quality uh, and good looks on the table. I mean, it, it's an amazing game, amazing component quality. It's really a, a, a benchmark for me for, for quality in board games. So you get those beautiful ships, you get some zip bags as well to put some stuff. Hey, let's see what you want to put it in. So uh, what you have to put in those zip bags, I'm not sure what else is in this box, to be honest. So it's going to be news to me as well. Um, so I'm guessing these are cards for uh, the ships. So Bombard, Bounty, Siege Engine, Distract, Espionage, Blitzkrieg. Okay, this, this is how the, the backs look. Okay, I'm guessing these are the type of ships you can have and what each different type of ship does. Right here you have... Um, Land rush, factory explosion. I'm guessing these are uh, stuff for the Authoma. 
not sure okay but some big cards here you have your instruction uh, leaflet so yeah so mario games presents scythe the wind gambit here's some backstory amazing art again the components list you have the airship module how to integrate it into the game how to set it everything up okay transporting resources or workers movement okay so basically explanations on how to uh, use this module with your game okay so apart from that we also get uh, this it's a, a thicker um, thicker um, sheet okay this is kind of a, a summary I guess uh, explaining how to camp camping the Automus base setup components I guess this, this is to help you with the uh, Automa, Automa for uh, the game using this expansion okay so here's a little panoramic view and achievement sheet a new one uh, that uses the Wayne Gambit expansion okay so you can record your achievements okay so this is what you also get now in this box there are also let me do this so I don't want to damage the box there's also this huge amount of um, these are cardboards okay so thick thick uh, cards bounty before you engage blah 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 okay so these are all related to the airships okay I'm guessing these are abilities that uh, the airship itself might have or something similar okay so blitzkrieg espionage they seem to have the same name as the uh, the cards I just showed you earlier so these are in red these are in green not sure what's the uh, the difference here ferry boost drill hero okay so these are different they have different backs so they will have a different uh, usage okay some more cards here safe haven reap can craft and negotiate again the artwork top-notch and have one of these land rush factory explosion spouse of war king of the hill these have a different pack as well they seem kind of like a, a objectives but I'm not sure don't want to mislead you deja vu mission possible doomsday clock and backup plan okay again they have this this back we can actually take a look here at the, uh, the leaflet and see what they these are supposed to be okay so these are resolution tiles the other 16 were airship tiles although there, there are different backs so I don't know uh, what distinguishes them okay but yeah this is what we get this is what we get with great cardboard stock they are very thick very sturdy again great uh, component quality as in all stone Meyer products to be honest uh, so yeah this is uh, this was scythe the wind gambit um, I will uh, use this expansion in a scythe playthrough okay to show you guys how uh, how the uh, the airships work um, I'm quite excited to get this on the table I think it's going to look just beautiful okay so that was the wind gambit um, beautiful components if you are interested in seeing a playthrough of scythe using this expansion uh, be sure to subscribe and pay attention to the channel because it will be uh, done in the near future I'm quite uh, excited to get it uh, done a playthrough using these beautiful beautiful miniatures okay so if you're interested in seeing it uh, yeah it's uh, it will be up eventually okay so I will see you then guys um, have a good one everyone see you next time bye bye